your future. There is no future living in the past. You cannot build your dream home on quicksand of the past and expect it to stand. Why would you even think that? But yet it's what we tend to do. And you know what? In James, it tells us that an unstable man or a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. And that's where we see the body of Christ in many people today, where we're trying so hard to go forward. Oh, we're pushing. We're like little gerbils in the wheel. I know I can. I know I can. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. And we're doing it in all our own strength, not wondering why we're just hitting this brick wall. We just keep hitting it and hitting it and saying, why God? Why God? Why are you not opening the way? And he's saying, forgive your past so you can run. And see, if it, this, I can do this all day long, but the minute that I break this down, we can see the velocity that comes with it in going forward. And now is the time that God is raising up people to be saying, you know what, now is the time for you to drop the past and stop this nonsense. Stop the racial tensions. Stop the, the riots forgive, stop bringing up all these things of the past that have no relevance of, of where we're going today. We can see the religious wars are based upon unforgiveness. People hate Israel instead of forgiving them. People hate gay people for the choices that they're making instead of forgiving them and saying there's freedom in Christ. People are setting themselves up. It's Black History Month. Why is there not White History Month? Why is there not just focus on Jesus Christ? Oh, I'm an African-American. I'm an Italian-American. Why are you not just an American? Oh, well, I'm an African Christian. Why are you not just a Christian? Oh, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a this Christian. I'm a Southern Baptist. I'm a Baptist. I'm a United Baptist. I'm a First Baptist. Oh, I'm an Initial Baptist. Why are you not just a Christian? Because we've been indoctrinated into so much of the past, and until we start removing the past, we will never come united as one in the body of Christ. And that double-mindedness keeps us all unstable. Because if the body of Christ, Christ were really united as one, we would not have denominations. If the body of Christ were united as one, we would not need the Korean church separate from the Indian church, separate from the black church, separate from the, the, the white church, separate from the girl church, separate from the... We would not have that. We would stand united as one. And this is where until we start forgiving the government for what the government's done in the past and then reliving it, oh, there's another Hiroshima. Oh, no, this is going to be another Nagasaki. Oh, no, this is going to be another Vietnam conflict. Oh, Lord, this is going to be another. Stop saying that. Until we stop breaking off the past and what we have lived it and are trying to recreate our futures to be based upon it, we're going to continue the same patterns. How could we not? And so looking at this, what do you need to break off of your past so that way you can live in the full freedom? I had to break off many things in my past, many, 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 many things, because my life was not lining up with the Word of God. And there is no way you can waltz into a church and say, well, the Word of God needs to change so I can continue to live in my sin. I think we have it backwards. But that's what many people are doing. Oh, Jezebel's going to reign here. Instead of me dealing with the spirit of Jezebel, let me just be telling the pastor what he needs to do because that's what God created me to do is to walk in churches and start telling them what to do. We need to line our lives up with the word of God. We have got to line ourselves up and remove the past and the sins of the past to get right with this whole word of God so we can live in freedom. And until we do that... We're going to continue to suffer the consequences. And you know what I will tell you? I will be so bold to tell you that all I want is all of what God has for me. It's really that simple. And isn't that the same for you? You just want all of what God has for you. Whatever that is, is whatever that is. But in order for you to receive it, you cannot take the past mindsets into your future and receive it. Because all of what God has for you is all of more than what you could even think of. Why? Because if you're living in the past, your mindset is about like this instead of huge. And we tend to limit God in what we think. And until those thoughts are removed, you're putting God in a box. And when you put God in a box, he is limited as to what he can do in you, to you, and through you. How do I know? Because I lived that for so very long. 
and I can tell you it's exhausting. It's exhausting fighting battles of the past when the past is the past. Got to keep going back and mopping this mess up instead of dealing with what's causing me to be doing this so I can go forward and live in freedom. And that's what I want for you today. And that is, that is it. We don't need to go and, and have more riots to prove that we can relive the past. We need to start forgiving people and loving people. We've got to start living in love and forgiveness so that we will be breaking off these mindsets of the past to live as whole and new creations in Christ. It's really that simple. But until we get that, we're not going to get very far. And so it starts with you today saying, you know what, I'm going to forgive my past. I forgive my past for how messed up, jacked up, whatever up it was. And I'm going to now live up. I'm going to speak up, stand up, live up for the word of God and live on it. Because I want to be thinking on the right things. Not the things that the media portrays. All the st statistics that I shared with you. All the things that suck our time and keep us focusing on the world instead of being in the word. The word also tells us to think on these things. These things are the things of above. Lean not on your own understanding. Go into the world to try to figure anything out is not going to change anything because the world hasn't figured it out. And if we haven't figured out that the world hasn't figured it out, we need to remove the spirit of confusion so that way we can go forward. But it's going to start with you. It always starts with you because you are the change to make in your life. And as you grow and change in your life, those changes in others will come around you. The changes in my mother's life came because of the changes in my life. And she wanted more. And I want more for you today than you could ever dream of because God is such an awesome God. He is a God of love and he is a God of forgiveness. His son died for you so that way you could live in freedom and forgiveness. And you know what? If you want to partner with me and spread the word of forgiveness, I encourage you to do so. You can go to julieblow.com, sign up. You can read the blogs. You can get involved. You can help me spread this word because it is a worldwide mission for every one of us to spread the message of forgiveness by who we are and what we do. And as I close out today, remember that a life worth living is a life of forgiving.